Taliban are in a delicate situation. Uh, first and foremost, the events that unfolded in Kabul were very quick, and the Taliban were really not prepared uh, to be a governing body, and they were still an insurgency. And once they took over Kabul, uh, what mattered for them was their internal integrity and cohesiveness, and also the threat of Daesh as a rising uh, a challenge for the Taliban uh, is also a fundamental point because the Taliban could not uh, provoke their hardliners. And that is why, uh, for now, their major focus was to uh, make the government all inclusive, but uh, for their own group, so that everybody is in, uh, the, uh, in the cabinet. And this way, they could avoid splinters, which will definitely advantage the ISK. That is why they have to ignore the international calls for a trans group or, or, uh, uh, or including other groups which were not part, not part of the Taliban. But I am pretty sure that with time passing and with Taliban consolidating their grip on power further, they will use these, uh, these calls of the international community in terms of human rights, women's rights and inclusivity as leverage points to get concessions from the international community for themselves, such as legitimacy, recognition, and economic help. So I think these are the cards the Taliban would play, and that will happen gradually.